vulnerable there. He likes to ship in his meat from a nearby village. That is your way in. Once you're inside, sneak into the interrogation room. His guard will be down. Kidnapping his meat and sneak in with him. 
going after Paul. That's really dangerous, Ajay. We want him alive to pay for what he's done, but be careful. Uh, and Ajay, if you can, take pictures of his interrogation chambers. It'll go a long way in convincing people that he's a monster. Just keep your head down. Don't let them see you. Don't get caught.
Get out of here. <laughs> no, I understand. Sweetheart, I understand. I, I, I can't. I'm literally walking into a meeting right now. All right. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just put her on really quick. No, 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 it's okay. Put her on. Yeah. I will be right with you. Hi, Ashley. You did? That is amazing! <laughs> Good girl, are you getting ready for bed? Did you brush your teeth? For at least 10 seconds? That's my girl. You gonna give your mom a big kiss for me? Well, you know, she gets lonely when I'm not there. You are the lady of the house. Of course, now you know daddy has to work, so... A gift? Sure, sweetheart, what did you want? A ring. No, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. What else would you like? A necklace. Oh, a gold necklace. Well, actually, I think I see that exact thing. Yes, of course, it is shiny. Now, listen, Daddy has to work, all right? So I have to go. I, I love you, too. Yes. Kisses, kisses. Don't want the big bucks, bye. Okay. Bye, Ladybug. I apologize for that. My daughter, you were here on time, and I was not ready. No disrespect intended. You? Thank <laughs> you. 
buddy. Why are you doing this? Noor sends her regards. Noor? <laughs> Noor? She thinks her family's still alive? <laughs> oh, oh man, we killed them years ago! <laughs> alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, I'm alive. Fucking taxi driver. Show him to his new home. Who threw that? Fucking savages! Let go! Wait, 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 that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Ashley... Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him. His fortress, Varshakot, is vulnerable. Now is a good time to mount an attack on it. I heard you made contact with the hunters. A friend of Hello, mine said Ajay. he saw the whole thing. It isn't good. We can't keep eating it. It's not nourishing. It's made us all... Namaste. Someone, please help.
There's something over there. Go see what it is. You come across that witch doctor. That sound is driving me crazy. Someone is out there! Yeah. 
the media, and not me, I'm the good media, I'm talking about the Western media. Here we are in Iran, a full-blown civil war is going down, and we don't even have one mention of our war. Come on, man, give us a pop up ad, for God's sake. Not a single person out there gives a damn about our struggle. Meanwhile, I open up an internet browser, big bill ads everywhere. Is that where our priorities are at? We're trying to make our chubby even bigger? Every time I watch the Western media, I see some snot-nosed pop star grinding on them, and that's everywhere. Every blog can't help but cover this girl twerking on some dude. What the fuck is twerking? And since when have white girls been the cornerstone of twerking? If you don't have any junk in the trunk, you shouldn't be twerking. I'm sorry. I mean, Chodu over here wears a bigger bra than my girlfriend, and he has enough decency to not twerk. Amita, are you okay? Do you think this is easy? Being the first woman in the golden bath? The one pushing for change while everybody else talks behind your back about how you're destroying their heritage? I am every bit the fighter, the kirati that they are, but they, they just see a woman. You're a smart man, Ajay, tell me. Am I the right person for this? Sabal, he's got all these supporters, and I just I just keep thinking, are they blind? Or am I just missing the point? No, indecision is for the weak. Okay. Remember that tea plantation? The poppies, they've been shipped to an old brick factory for processing. Sabal wants to destroy it. He's so sure of himself. And you want to capture it? Exactly. That's everything we need to plan for the future while he's stuck in the past. I say yes, he says no. But I'm hoping you will be the one to do the right thing. I'll do it. I was hoping you'd say that. I need you to take Noah's brick factory without destroying it. We'll put it to good use later. Ajay, be careful, huh? It's very well guarded.
Father captured were not improved, you guys. The good guys now nearly control half of all the outposts in the I hope you can visit one of these outposts someday, but I keep putting it off. And I think it's partly because of all the horror stories I've heard about the facilities of these outposts. I mean, the facilities are great, and this may make you think less of me, but... I need a clean bathroom and a real toilet before I drop a piece. I know, I know, I'm spoiled, I get it. Some of you guys are thinking, yeah, I mean, you do, you do broadcast out of a bunker. But hey, I drop deuces with the best of them. And I can't help it. I don't like squatting and I definitely don't like shitting into a hole in the ground that's already filled with weak old shit from other people. And you know what? I'll say it right now on air. I like my bidet. Yes, I broadcast out of a bunker here with Chotu. And yes, sometimes it gets really uncomfortable and yes, uh, sometimes you don't have the best facilities here, and so, yeah, sometimes you guys have been complaining you can't really hear my voice. But I shit like a king. I say that right here, right now. I'm not like the rest of you guys, just squatting over a hole, dropping the dude, pouring water on it, and hoping it goes away. Then you wipe your butt with a rock? Come on, man. That's the same thing you can cut someone with. I'm not wiping my asshole with that. Who wants to squat over a hole, drop a deuce, and then just pour water on it and hope it goes away? That's like Coachella for poor people. But you never get to be the Tupac holiday, man. That's just your life and you live it. I think if the Golden Path is victorious, they should install bidets into everyone's household. A clean asshole is the foundation of human dignity, and we start from the butthole up. This is Rabbi Red Anna, and you remember that. Ajay, Amita said you'd be along. Stock up on the ammo. Abidar is waiting for you up the hill. Are you Havildar? What you'd call sergeant, yes. The factory uses generators to make the air breathable. Destroy them, and you force the soldiers out. Whatever you do, keep damage to a minimum. One more thing. The chief chemist who runs the facility? He used to be one of us. Amita wants him dead. again.
Where are the damn generators? I'm surprised you don't hear the damn things. They're noisy. You're weak!
is happening? Shit. It's... it's the gas. Archie, we needed the chemist alive, dammit! You said... you... you said to kill him! It's time to destroy the facility. It's time to light Buttra's ascension to the gods with that giant blaze. You're not making any sense. We're laying the explosives now. Get out while you can. Ajay, what's wrong? Good to see you. Is the factory secured? Is the chemist dead? Yeah. Equipment. Yeah, I just, uh... I think I was hallucinating. That's the fumes. But you're okay now. I can't tell you what this means. Thanks to you, Kirat has a future. If Sabal wasn't so busy looking backwards, he'd see that too. I could go for some dal bath right about now. We could spare a bullet or two for some hunting, yes? Oh, this 
scratch on me. at the airport. Good. I did a flyby earlier and spotted some snipers. Clear them out. And remember, we have a common enemy. Taking out Pagan's men will make it easier to secure the airport for your Golden Path comrades. Right. One more thing. You'll need to keep a low profile, like a Republican living in San Francisco. No alarm. Don't get spotted, period. I've got a meeting with the commander stationed at the airfield, and I don't want him to know I have an ace up my sleeve. Once you're done, call me. Okay, it's safe to land now. I took out the snipers. Nice work! I'm coming in for a landing. Get to the control tower and call me when you're there. Alright, I'm in position. Stay there and watch my back. I've got a quick little sit down to deal with before we can chat. If this meeting goes south, I'll give you a signal. What kind of signal? When I say Reaganomics, open fire and don't stop till all the bad guys are gone. Reaganomics? Okay.
I'm gonna keep this channel open, but stay quiet. I don't need any distractions. This guy can be a little jumpy. Got it? Got it. Good. Here we go. Got the goods right here, just like you asked for. Change of plans. What's that now? I said change of plans. Yuma wants me to bring you in. You kidding me? You can't do that. We had a deal. You and your plane aren't going anywhere. I'm taking you to Yuma. Well, let's try to work something out, okay? There's nothing to work out here, buddy. Where I come from, a deal's a deal. You can't just change things up. It's un-American. I've had enough of this. Are you familiar with Reaganomics? It was a sound policy that ensured the fiscal future of the United States. Yuma said to bring you in, but she didn't say I had to bring you in alive. Hey! Someone there! Someone... I'm taking fire! Look alive up there! Bad guys coming in from the north! Get on it! Yeah. <laughs> 
Judging by the lack of gunshots and explosions I'm hearing, I'd say you're in the clear. Come find me in the warehouse so we can finally get some face time. Five years and I still can't figure out if that smell is bad sanitation or just the abject loss of hope. I don't smell anything. Point keeping up with that facade anymore. So who are you? Well, look at you. American on the inside and useful on the outside. You're the perfect wolf in sheep herder's clothing. Way better than the SoCal douchebag at the babysit at my last stop. You're both patriots, though. Both the type that'll put your hand over your gosh darn heart when you hear the Star Spangled Banner at a Fourth of July ball game. <laughs> Useful on the outside. I work for Langley, Agent Willis Huntley. Langley, as in CIA. Everything you need to know about who killed your father is in that file. What file? The one in the plane that's about to take off. Shit. Hey, you're gonna need this. Yeah, and it doesn't tell me shit. Redacted. You wanna know more? Keep your mouth shut and help me with the job. Then I pull off more of those black bars. Fine. What's the job? I'm here to bring down Pagan Min and Yuma. Something the locals can't seem to pull off. I thought you people were good at waging guerrilla warfare. You people? Golden Paths waging the wrong kind of fight. I'm here to show them how it's done. Step one, hand him the airport. Step two, recruit the services of one A.J. Gale. That's you. Meet me back here when you're ready. Oh, and don't mention our little arrangement to the Golden Pass. They're not in the need-to-know column. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta hit the crapper. Pardon my French. Jesus Christ, it's just a freaking hole in the ground. 